What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is a comparison of the Vivo X Fold, which we have right here, versus the Galaxy Z Fold. For both folding phones, both probably at the top, I don't know, three of their respective divisions right now of folding phones. And which one's gonna come out on top and which one is a better buy? Well, I'd have to say if you're a Westerner, without a doubt, get the Galaxy Z Fold 4. The reason being is the software overall. Um, this is really catered to a Chinese audience and you can convert a lot of the stuff over to, you know, English or whatever um, language I guess you could kind of, as long as you can read English, I guess, or, or Chinese, but it still, it just feels weird. Um, so, and this is gonna have more bands and everything else for the rest of the world. So you're always probably gonna wanna get the Galaxy Z Fold 4, but that doesn't tell the whole story. So let's get into that whole story. So for me, I compared the Vivo X Fold to the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and a lot of this stuff's gonna carry over. If you saw that video, again, a lot of this stuff is probably gonna end up carrying over of what I think about these two devices, the Fold 4 now and the Vivo X Fold, because everything still pretty much rings true. So first of all, if I could only choose one of these phones hardware wise, uh, based off of what they offer in terms of their displays, it's gotta be the Vivo X Fold. The reason being is basically this front display is really almost like a traditional regular phone. You know, if you got something like an S22 or an iPhone, this feels very familiar. It's that big on this front display. It's wide enough, it's tall enough, feels great in your hand in terms of how you use it at this size. It's comfortable to type. You can see the keyboard comes up at a pretty reasonable size on here. And watching videos also is quite pleasurable, if, you, if I do say so myself. You can see, uh, very normal experience. And that's what I absolutely love about this phone is the hardware. It's great, great hardware device overall. You get the camera at the top. The only thing I don't absolutely love about this is the design, you know, it has a leather back, which I guess is good if you don't want glass back, if you're worried about breaking it. The camera design, I feel like it's a little bit over the top. Um, it's different in a, compared to a lot of uh, popular phones here in America, but um, you know, I, I like the camera design more so than this, this part right here. I also don't like the baby blue color. Uh, but you're still going to get your USB-C charging, your wireless charging, and all of that. And then the other big part about this is this absolutely humongous display on the inside. It's huge. And it's so awesome. Uh, it's definitely one of the best things about it. Let me just open up uh, Google Play Store. I mean, this is great, right? I mean, look at this. This is freaking amazing. You open this up. You play a video. Let me go open up YouTube real quick. Look how crazy big it is. I mean, it's it's absolutely huge on here. Um, but, you know, when you take away the two amazing displays, which I'll be honest with you, both displays don't seemingly get as bright as a Galaxy Z Fold 4. Galaxy Z Fold 4 does get brighter on both of the displays. The outside and the inside displays are brighter than the Vivo X Fold. Um, but I just love the hardware on this. It is kind of heavy, maybe even... Yeah, it's heavier than the Galaxy Z Fold 4, but I just, I love the hardware. Um, the other big difference on this is the fingerprint sensor. When you use it, it is on the display right here. It's underneath the display. So it works pretty good. As you can see, it's pretty fast and accurate. Also, their face unlock is crazy fast. It's really, really fast and really, really accurate. So I appreciate those things. I am not a big fan of the under screen fingerprint sensor. So I guess let's break it down like this. For hardware, just screens alone, I love the size of the Vivo X Fold, but I can see why someone on the Z Fold 4 would like that it's kind of smaller um, in hand and maybe a little bit more tolerable to use it, but you can alleviate those issues of how big these phones are with getting a phone grip, either a pop socket or a love handle of some sort. Going back to software, like I said, this has some nice software features. Um, it does run Android. You do have to install the Google Store yourself. It's not very hard. I have a video on it. It's not very hard, but I don't know. It just acts a little wonky uh, to a Westerner like myself. Um, it doesn't have as many tablet-like or 
uh, customized features that would make it feel and be a, uh, a folding phone like the Galaxy does. Uh, you get the Z Fold 4 has this amazing uh, taskbar at the bottom, which allows you to easily multitask by just clicking and dragging on a window up. And you have, you know, multi window right here that you can do lots of stuff. You can go up to four window, three windows or multiple more than that floating. Um, so it just has a lot of built in features. It has good lock, which really stands out. So if you're a software person, if software is very, very important to you, without a doubt, the Galaxy absolutely murders the Vivo X Fold in terms of basically every, everything like that. So hardware going back, I would pick this phone and then for uh, the software, I'd go with the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And speaking of some odds and ends things, we talked about the fingerprint sensor. I do like the fingerprint sensor better on this on the side. It's super accurate, very comfortable, works all the time. Uh, charging, you have to go with the Vivo X Fold. Uh, I think it's like 67 watts wired charging, so it will charge faster than the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Also wireless charging, I believe is 50 watts, faster than even regular charging through a wire on this. So that's a great thing to have on this phone is super, super fast charging for this huge, huge phone. Hardware wise, this does have the camera sitting on top, but in general, it doesn't really bother me. Obviously it hides underneath on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So you can't really see it. You can see it in some instances, uh, but overall I can't really see it. So in that regard, in terms of how the, the cameras look and how they're placed, I'd give it to the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Speaking of the cameras, let's check out some video and photo samples that I took with both phones. This is the front camera on this Vivo X Fold. Now I'm looking at the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So you can decide which one you like sounding and looking better. Let me know in the comments down below. We're now on the back main cameras. Don't mind the mess. The boy, my son, makes a big mess. Hi, Shoko. Hi, Shoko. Rawr. So one thing I notice is obviously the color temperature is pretty different when I'm looking at these through the screen. So I'd be curious what it looks like on the computer. It's definitely more lifelike on the Galaxy on the screen anyway versus the Vivo X Fold. Vivo X Fold doesn't look bad, but it does look different. Here we go with some ultra wide action. Both have 0.6x in terms of how far they go out. So hopefully we can decide which one we like with these. Uh, I will be curious to see these two side by side in terms of the camera department, uh, which one looks and sounds better. Next is all about the cameras. Galaxy Z Fold 4 looks great. So I thought that the Vivo X Fold took some really, really nice photos as well. I would probably give the edge in terms of, uh, you know, stability of the video, the look of the video, the look of the photos to the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And also you get the, you know, really, really far zoom with both phones, which I think the Z, uh, the Z Fold 4 did a better job as well on that. So I'd have to give the win in terms of cameras and videos to the Galaxy Z Fold 4 over the Vivo X Fold. Speakers, I did a little test and I'll let you listen to it.
What's going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Today is an extremely slow day for tech news, at least I felt it was. What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Today is an extremely slow day for tech news, at least I felt it was. It depended on the scene and what it was doing. At times, I felt like the Vivo X Fold one, and then other times, I felt like the Z Fold 4 one. Kind of difficult to pick a winner totally because, again, I, th I feel like he kind of went back and forth. So I'll call it a draw, but I mean, I guess you could listen back to it and pick your own result of who you think has better speakers. Who's the winner at the end of the day? Well, overall, with everything said, if you're a Westerner, uh, you speak English, and that's one of your main languages, you're really proficient in it, I, I think you're going to want to obviously go with the Galaxy Z Fold 4. It's just, a, it, it's just more meant for our market, obviously, over here. Um, but that doesn't mean this is a bad phone. This is a really, really nice phone. There's a lot of things I like about this phone. Uh, the two major ones being this outside display and the inside display in terms of how large they are. And it, it's something I really wish um, Samsung would do in terms of coming out with like a pro version of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So maybe it was huge like this. This doesn't bother me at all. I really, really like it. Um, so I really, really enjoy that part of it. It feels like a very premium phone as well. Not that the Fold 4 doesn't, but I'm just saying, you know, this phone does feel like really, really premium. But at the end of the day, the overall winner, I'd have to give it to the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about these two phones. Which phones do you think is better? Both of them have their pluses and their minuses in terms of them beating each other in certain categories. But let me know what you think. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road.